We welcome you tonight to this rite of equinox, a time when day and night are equal, regardless of hemisphere, the day and the night are equal. We celebrate this time this evening and we rejoice in this balance that we observe in this time of year. In the Northern Hemisphere, we begin to move into autumn. In the Southern Hemisphere, we begin to move into spring. But in anywhere on this green earth, children of the Earth Mother, we move into equinox on this night. We ask that you join and celebrate with us. And we say to you, be welcome. Joan of Earth, breathe deep for a moment. Find yourself at your center. Feel yourself brightened by the light of the fire, cooled in the depths of the well. Straightening your spine, feeling broad as tree and roots, centered within yourself. And from there, listen to the sound of purification as it rolls over you, covering your arms, your legs, raining upon your head as the branch of bells plays around you. Purified now, we seek the spirits, as we always do. The children of the earth call out to the earth mother. You who are bright in our past, you who are bright in our present, and you, if all is good, who will remain bright in our future, we call to you now. Let us be brightened by standing upon you. Let us be brightened by knowing our place upon you. Let us be brightened by protecting you wherever we can. Earth Mother, we call to you. Hear our words. Hear us here at the center where the flame is bright. Earth Mother, accept our offer. We call to the well, home of the ancestors, vessel of waters, home of the sea. We give you honor and blessings and silver. We call to the fire, bright light, burning offerings that go to the sky, realm of sky, holder of offerings that are transmuted. We make offerings to you that they may be pleasing and that these offerings be carried upwards to the sky and above. We call to the tree, deeply rooted in the earth with branches that extend to the sky. We make offerings to you 
water from the well. Offerings to help you grow and to help you nurture. Realm of the land, home of the nature spirits, bridge between the worlds. We bless you all. Well, tree and fire, so be it. We have hallowed the fire, the well, and the tree. It's time now to open the gates between the worlds. Within the Norse cosmology, Two of the gatekeepers may or may not be overly inclined to open the gates and let people into their realm, much less in one case they wouldn't be inclined to let people out of their realm. So what we do is we compromise. Okay? Children of Earth call out to mighty Lord Good, guardian of the bridge Yalabru, over the river Gyal, entrance into Helheim, and the land of the dead, protector of the ancestors, none may escape your challenge. We bring you offerings of good ale, and ask that you allow our voices to be heard in the halls of the ancestors. Let them know they are remembered and honored. Hail, Mordgud. The children of the earth call out to Red Radatask, messenger of mighty Yggdrasil, you who travel the lengths and breadths of the world tree, carrying messages to all its inhabitants. We bring you offerings of nuts and seeds and ask that you allow our voices to be heard among the branches of the tree. Let the spirits of the world know they are remembered and honored. Hail, Radatusk. The children of the earth call out to great Heimdall, guardian of the rainbow bridge, into Asgard, you can see infinitely and hear the grass grow. Protector of the gods, none escape your vigilance. We bring you offerings and ask that you allow our voices to pass into the halls of Asgard. Let the Aesir and the Vanir know they are honored and remembered. Hail Heimdall! Join your magic with ours and let the ways and the gates between the worlds be open. The gates between the worlds are open. Let nothing but truth be spoken here. On this evening, as the day equals the night, on this high day, on this day of seasonal changes, we call out to the ancestors, ancestors of our blood, those ancestors who are related to us. 
Call their faces into mind. Call your experiences into mind. We call out to the ancestors of our heart, those we are close to, although we may not be related to them. Think of them and think of how they have enriched your heart. And ancestors of the bone, ancestors that lie beneath us on this soil, on this earth. We call to you tonight, ancestors, and we say, ancestors, in this day and night of balance, accept this offering. I call to the spirits of the land, to the land whites, to the green kin and to the red kin. I call to the spirits of the elves and the she. I call to the Tompton. I call to all the land spirits and the house spirits, to you who share this land with us, to you who walk this space with us, to the mountains and to the rivers, to the valleys and to the heights. Nature spirits, accept my offer. The children of Earth call out to the gods and goddesses of all our peoples. We call to the gods in the heavens, you who shine in the skies. We call to the gods in the midworld, you who stride across our lands. We call to the gods in the underworld, you who guide and guard our dead. Great gods and goddesses, come and join us by our fire. Be here with us. Join your magic with ours. We offer you whiskey to the fire. Gods and goddesses, accept our offerings. We have made offerings to the Earth Mother and the spirits of inspiration. We have blessed our hallows. We have called to the gatekeeper and made offerings. We have opened the gates. We have honored the kindreds, ancestors, nature spirits, and shiny ones on this day or night and night of equal. Offerings made, hearts open. It is now time to take all these things now that we have recreated the cosmos. Now it is time for our final offering. But this is more than just an offering. It is the final sacrifice which brings it all together. Earth Mother, spirits of inspiration, gatekeeper, kindreds all, I call to you now and say, accept this sacrifice. We have honored and we have offered, and it is time now that we seek to know what blessings we receive in this ritual. The wisdom we receive is that our roots must be tended and we need to remember that some actions, while good in some situations, are not opportune for all. And with this knowledge in mind, we can marry one value with another and bring them together for the blessings that we need. The blessings come to us in many forms, from all the kindreds. Blessings already abound around us. All we must do is accept them and sometimes ask for them. I call for the blessings of the upper realm, from the realm of the shining ones. Flow down into this vessel. I call from the blessings of the ancestors. Flow up from the underworld. Flow into this vessel. I call for the blessings of the middle realm, the realm of the nature spirits, flow here into these waters, 
that by their nature are sacred and holy. As water is full of life, life also comes from water. So let us seek the blessings of the holy waters. If you wish to receive the blessings of the kindreds, answer me within your mind if you wish to do this. The blessings of the kindreds await you. If you wish that all the folk of ADF who view this wish may receive the blessings of the holy waters, answer me within your mind that this vessel now contains those blessings. If you understand that the blessings may take the form that you need and not necessarily the form you hope for, answer me within your mind and see as the blessings of the kindreds flow down from the upper world, flow up from the under world, flow in from the middle realm. As this water becomes consecrated with the blessings of the kindreds, I present you with the waters of life. As you drink with me now, the blessed waters, imagine with the blessings of the kindred. The shining ones who watch down, the ancestors who watch from the past, and the nature spirits who watch from the green and drink in the blessings of the kindred. Sanj. Gods and goddesses of all our peoples, for joining us here this night, for being here and joining your magic with ours, for striding across the land that we may be with you and join with you, we say, shining and chthonic ones, we thank you. Nature spirits, we thank you for coming to our right, for working with us, for giving us the gifts that you have given us. Spirits of red and green, spirits of earth and sky, those who live with us, those who live around us, and those who live in spite of us. Nature spirits, we thank you. Ancestors, for joining us here today, for honoring the season with us. Ancestors, we say we thank you. And now it's time to close the gates. Gatekeepers all, hear me. Join your magic with mine once more. And let the ways and the gates between the worlds be closed. Heimdall, we thank you for letting our voices carry into the halls of Asgard. Radatusk, we thank you for letting our voices carry across the branches of the world tree. Mordgood, we thank you for letting our voices carry into the halls of the ancestors. Gatekeepers all, we thank you. As we always do, let us end by thanking the Earth Mother. O Earth Mother, who upholds the trees, who is the root of mountains, for being with us today, for blessing us, for upholding us. As we go forth in our lives, uphold us still, cradle our footsteps, walk with us as we walk upon you. Earth Mother, we thank you. We have honored the Earth Mother this night and the spirits of inspiration. We have blessed our hallows 
we are called to a gatekeeper. We have mixed our magics together and opened the gates. We have honored the ancestors, the nature spirits, and the shiny ones. We have given offerings and made our final sacrifice. An omen was taken to see what this balance of the season brings to us this night. We shared the waters of life. We thank the kindreds and the gatekeeper. We closed the gates and thanked the spirits of inspiration and the earth mother. And now, at the end of all this, we thank you, you, for your attendance this night. This rite, this work that we do tonight, is at an end. So be it.